Yo, what is going on, you garbage grump pig? Today, coming at you with the hottest deck coming out of Chilling Rain over the last couple days, which is Blissey V. Um, and if you guys haven't seen any lists, I'm sure this list looks a little bit weird to you guys because the only Pokemon we play is Blissey V. Uh, but that's all we really need to play once you guys understand how the deck works. So we got Blissey V in here. It's got that natural cure ability, which isn't very good whenever you attach an energy from your hand to this Pokemon. You recover from all special conditions. So that can be okay sometimes, but we do play four paths to the peak. So we're not really too concerned with uh, our ability, as you can tell, because we got four paths to the peak in here. Um, but the attack blissful blast 10 damage plus 30 for each energy attached to us and then we can attach three energy to the blissey so we don't get the extra damage from those energy immediately uh we attach them after we do our damage which i mean the card might be too good if it went the other way around it probably wouldn't be but uh, it'd be quite a bit better that's for sure so doing 40 damage on our first turn and then it slowly stacks up from there uh but that's not the main point of this deck the main point of this deck is to heal our blissey keep it alive through uh cape of toughness giving us plus 50 hp and then we got four hyper potion and four suspicious food tins so we're trying to just keep the blissey alive as long as possible while we're using that blissful blast uh and hitting for damage and then slowly building up a bigger blissey and a bigger blissey over time until we're hitting that much harder and then uh yeah and then sometimes that blissey gets knocked down we go to the next blissey and kind of repeat from there so four blissey in here got the healing and the hyper potions and the suspicious food tins uh we got the aurora energy in here to combo with suspicious food tin. the aurora energy is nice because it allows us to discard energy from our hand to get energy in the discard pile for that blissful blast also we can use uh we got a couple guzman hall in here we can guzman holla to find specifically the aurora energy if we need to i had basic psychics in here before and i might go back to some basic psychics because up against calyrex with that shadow mist attack they can stop us from playing special energy and if we only play special energy well we just can't attack we can't attach energy so but we try and go second so if we just get an energy attachment down turn one we're usually good to uh good to go um so we got pokey gears in here and the main draw engine in the deck is supporters it is supporter based and there's four research in here of course best draw supporter in the game and then we got four hapu in here because we're really trying to aggressively get energy in the discard pile and then find those healing cards so two really aggressive draw supporters here in the hapu and the research research I mean, discard our hand, drawing seven, and then the Hapu uh, doing kind of similar. We see six cards, and then we discard the cards that we see, you know, the rest of the other four. We get to pick two, and the other four get discarded. Um, so we're trying to discard energy early turn one to, uh, you know, get a turn one blissful uh, blissful blast. A um, couple reset stamp in here to, to reduce our opponent's hand size. Let a couple switch to move our blissies around. Should we end up in a situation where uh, we put a blissey on the bench, our opponent kind of bosses into the active and traps it, we can move it back to the bench to the one that had energy and just keep attacking um path to the peak four paths to the peak we don't really care about our natural cure ability so we'd rather shut down all of our opponents really cool abilities if we're up against something like calyrex or even like adp with the denes and crobats and all that kind of stuff we want to shut all that down so four paths to the peak in here for that couple boss so we have you know can chase some stuff down guzman holla here gets us uh just cards cards from the hand so those could be energy gets us an energy out of the deck so any energy that we might want if we need weakness guard energy because we're trying to you know avoid weakness up against like a urshifu or a zapdos want powerful energy to do more damage or another really big part of the draw drawing of cards in this deck is these lucky energy so whenever we get attacked if we have a lucky energy on our pokemon we draw a card for each lucky energy we have attached to us so we've got four lucky energy on a blissey and they hit us we draw four cards which is huge um so even being able to search out those with the guzman holla can be a big deal as well um I think that's all I gotta say about the deck. So we got four lucky in here. We got four roars to combo the suspicious food tin or draw energy, just extra ways to draw cards, kind of fill uh that extra energy slots there. But these could kind of become it could be like capture energy, maybe even. I tried capture energy, I tried quick ball. Neither seemed to be very good. Like I never used them, I just eventually drew into more blissies. Um, and that was usually fine. So that's why we have no way to find blissies besides just drawing into blissies. But it worked when I was playing. Like I never I, I tried quick ball for a little bit, never used them. I tried capture energy for a while, never used the capture energy. Uh, and then four we can scar energy in here like i said against that rapid strike we don't want to be weak in fighting uh and then four powerful energy because more damage is never bad and that is the list let's go play some blissey all right we're getting into our first game here opening hand is mulligan um so yeah wait until we find a blissey we're guaranteed to start a blissey because well we only play blissey all right pretty good start got the blissey plus the hapu that's exactly what we're looking for off the rip now just gotta find some energy not only get them into the discard pile but we need one to attach return to the blissey um and then also what matchup are we up against it's also a question here blissey mirror match oh no how is this even gonna go i don't even know what to expect uh holy smokes 
this is gonna be fun uh <laughs> i'm gonna attach here i'm gonna pass uh they get the first hit which is big them getting to go first or second i should say is a big deal how much healing do they play will also be a big deal if we can if we play more healing than them maybe we can beat them that way because not everyone plays the suspicious food tins um a lot of people only uh, everyone plays the hyper potions but some people do not play but it looks like they do play the suspicious food tins uh guzman hall i did get rid of two they're gonna have to search out uh the path to the b cave of toughness and another uh energy in the aurora energy um uh, so they they're playing suspicious food tins uh <laughs> get rid of the lucky energy uh and yeah they're cooking here lily's pokey doll as well so they play the guzman hall i wonder if they play a tank call build in general maybe they rock some mallow and lanas as well that's what uh, i would assume with the doll comboed with you see the guzman hollow there i would kind of make the guess that they do play uh man they're loading up the energy early here sheesh uh yeah i would, I would guess that they do play mal and lana all right hapu here grab okay decent amount of energy discarded the food tin is great and we gotta grab another energy so let's grab this one i guess um and then attach um, I think I will bench this Blissey here, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, Blissful Blast. Get those two energy. The healing's a little bit weak, though. I don't have a ton of like it's it's. I mean, we could use both these cards and heal all this damage uh, that they're about to hit on us, but it feels super efficient. So I might just hit and start loading up the bench Blissey instead. We'll wait and see how this turn goes for sure. Here comes that tackle. So it is a tag call build. Like I said, I think they're playing a tag call build. They're playing a tag call build. So they got Mal and Lana's in there. They got uh, maybe Caitlyn and Cynthia. Definitely Guzman Hala, as we saw. Double Mal and Lana off the tank hall. But you have to discard two cards to use Mal and Lana. So it's not something where it can be constantly used. And here comes a Hapu. To, so it's Hapu, Tag Call, Engine, uh, Blissey. I don't hate it. Um, have not tried the Tag Call Engine myself. Uh, but yeah, we have to assume they play the Suspicious Futins. Because, uh, yeah, they play Psychic Energy. So we should assume they play the Suspicious Futins. And this is not looking good for us. We're like, maybe the Blissey Mirror Match is just decided on who goes second like that first uh hit tempo hit or whatever you want to call it is pretty big they kind of i don't want to say wasted the suspicious food tin but they could have done more with it for sure here comes a blissful blast for 150 um and then next turn they're swinging for sheesh a lot of damage they got uh three six seven oh my gosh they're swinging for a lot okay uh i think i'll use uh no we're almost out of hapu so i don't want more researches in my hand so i'm just gonna go ahead and use this grab sister's just food tin and probably the powerful energy i don't want to lose the hapu though so maybe i'll grab no but i want to attach return i think i value attaching for turn over that um no maybe the no maybe the powerful energy so we're gonna go like this i could double sus go down to 30 damage on us we'd have 270 hp left but they're doing Sheesh, too much damage, too much damage. Oh my god, can we even make a come? I think we just lose. Like, if I had to guess, I think we would just lose here. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, because they're just so much. Their Blissey has just gotten so much bigger than ours early on. Maybe this is the way the Blissey Mirror goes go second, lose the game. I could heal all the damage with this and this and attach the powerful and swing. But like I said, they're doing how much? Is it? One, two, six, seven. Uh, so 220. If they attach an energy, they knock me out, and then I don't even swing for that much damage. So I feel like I have to go like this. But, he, but I think I'm just gonna. Oh my gosh! Blissey Mirror Match sucks! Uh. Blissful Blast? Yeah, this does not feel good at all. I, I'm i like, I'm pretty confident we're just gonna lose. Like, I don't see how we ever win this, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna Mal and Lana. Uh. They're gonna like, one hit KO us, or they're gonna knock us out, but then they'll be in a position where they can one hit KO my next Blissey. And they've kind of just, like, ramped up to the point where we can't even come back. So not only is it important to go second with blissey like we want to go second in general in some matchups uh because of how favorable or unfavorable they are it doesn't really matter too much if we go first or second but blissey mirror man going second seems important uh we all learned a little bit something here today though about that it seems very important to go second uh in the blissey mirror because you just start to ramp up first uh and then it's hard for the other blissey player which is me in this situation to get big enough to actually want to carry your blissey. here comes the mal lana discard some more cards uh energy that's even worse they ramp up more energy knock us out and then they're one hit can't win this blissey but this blissey will only do 40 damage um and we're gonna go through the go through the motions here but uh most definitely predicting a loss in this one for sure yeah how much are they doing here 280 yeah so like if i they had just attach this weak discard energy instead of discarding it they would have done 300 damage which would have one hit ko'd this There's, what is it a little plus sign there now i've never seen that before 
When you have so many different energy types, I've never seen that. Yeah, when you have so many different energy types that it gives you a little plus sign. Okay, we're gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna stamp. I'm gonna research. And then we're gonna lose. <laughs> and then we're gonna lose. And there's nothing we can do about it. They're hitting for 300 damage. We have no disruption. I'm gonna hit. They're gonna hit. That's gonna be game. Wow. Blissey Mirror, man. Go second. That's important. If you go first, you're gonna lose, I guess. Sheesh. Maybe they don't have as good of a turn one. My opponent had a pretty clean turn one. Another energy coming down just to make sure they have enough damage there. And uh, yeah. Go second. Go second. Very important, apparently. Go second. 340 damage. They only have 90 on their Blissey. Oh, man. <laughs> we got a Blissey off our draw. So even if we had that in play, though, next turn we'd hit for 40, and they would want to KO. So sheesh. Wow. Blissey Mirror Match. All right, here we go again. We would like to go second. That's what we want to do, because we don't want to end up in a Mirror Match again and then end up like that last game. So <laughs> go second here. Um, and then, yeah. Be okay. Sustins. Um be fine mulligan hopefully we don't mulligan too many times there's some blissey unfortunately we don't have a draw supporter or really anything to work with here so we're hoping this draw energy can help us out or we top deck hapu research pokey gear quite a few things we could top deck we're up against a dragapult deck um now i actually lost to a dragapult the other day oh calyrex dragapult i'm not that scared of the calyrex being in there they probably don't play too many energy so they can't ramp up too big on the calyrex of course i could be wrong about that um but we're hoping the pats of the peak can also uh, probably put a damper on their um game plan outs whatever you want to call it so draw energy hopefully find something nope pats of the peak keep of toughness swing and i don't want to bench another blissey here because if we bench another blissey then my opponent just gets to go 130 plus the 50 but if i don't bench a blissey they can't put the 50 on anything because there's nothing to put the 50 on so we're just gonna chill not put the blissey in play yet yeah unfortunately we drew nothing no good top deck well, now we have this dead hand uh we're trying still i'm trying <clears throat> but uh <laughs> we do need a top deck at some point here or we are just gonna lose this game all right they got the turn two dragapult cooking now but yeah we need something here or we are just gonna lose the game um there's the money for my opponent so that is helpful get us a new uh set of cards now we do also have to you know they're gonna start stacking up damage here we do have to be able to have more blissey this hand still not good and i really want to attach the aurora to get an energy in the discard pile but i also want to play the game so i should probably attach the draw energy to draw a card um yeah i should probably attach the draw energy to draw a card here so uh <laughs> we can hopefully find a research or a hop or something uh so we don't just lose next turn we only have 170 hp that is perfect now i could discard this whole hand um with research and then attach energy then put all this energy back on there i think that makes the most sense here um i'm gonna bench another blissey with a cape i think uh go with the draw energy uh bench the blissey attach a new cape just because if we get marnie we'd rather have had that in play uh, and then blissful blast big hit here 70 damage look out um but now next turn we are doing one two three four five 160 160 not quite getting the knockout we can do plus 50 to 10 so yeah we can put the powerful energy here and get the knockout next turn which i think i'm definitely just gonna go for just get the Right, 150, 160, plus 50. I mean, the math checks out. Uh, tool Scrapper coming in for my opponent. That's a little bit rude. Uh, I guess they KO my Blissey now, which means I can't do what I wanted to do. Sad. All right, goodbye, Blissey. That is super sad, actually. Well, they hopefully don't play a second school Tool Scrapper. So when we find more capes, hopefully those capes sticks. This has been a rough one. It's been a rough one. Last game was rough. This game's been rough. Uh, rough start. Um not getting better yet hopefully it does improve maybe get a hapu here get to save the reset stamps got a boss really want to save those for later though so attach a powerful play the research uh hopefully draw into some energy got a cape for this one that is great no healing though oh no we're back on the no healing train uh aurora aurora and a weakness guard so if we get some suspicious food tins we do a little bit of healing i don't want to bench this yet like once again like the reason i didn't want to bench them initially was if we do have them on the bench then they just kind of start getting that extra 50 damage my opponent because they get extra value out of their attack so don't want to give them that yeah no lucky energy no draw supporter that's why the lucky energy is so important is because it's kind of like a constant draw engine in the blissey deck uh, even once they knock out your blissey or even if you use super po hyper potion super potion whatever to heal the blissey you get to get the energy back and you kind of keep going from there and just kind of fine uh, and you survive no problem but in these types of situations it's not so fine 
21, 31, 40, 50. So we're getting the knockout here. 150 HP left here. We're getting the knockout here. So we're going to bench this. Catch powerful. Uh, Blissful Blast. Get the knockout. Get some prize cards to work with. Hopefully find some healing. Uh, let's put all those draw energy on there. Why not? But yeah, this Blissey is, should be going down. Yeah, 120 HP. Not going to survive. Uh, would have loved to have gotten a, a suspicious food tin and then could have attached active and got the knockout. That would have been sick. Didn't go that way, though. So <laughs> we need to come up with something else here. But we got this Hapu. This should lead to some healing. Got another powerful to throw in play here. Or we could try and Hapu into a lucky energy. I think that damage is a little bit more important. And my opponent's not drawing that well. We see here as they go with the Max Phantom. They haven't done really anything on the last turn or two. So they're not drawing that well. Um, and yeah, we might be okay here. We might be okay. Might survive. I have to still be careful of this Gengar Mimikyu. I can't have too many trainer cards in my hand as well. I have to look out for that. Um... Apu here. Go ahead and grab. If I grab the two healing cards. I will get knocked out next turn. So I can't grab both healing cards. I'm going to grab one of the energy and the hyper potion, I think. Yeah, so now they're doing 200 with Gengar Mimikyu. But I got to be careful of this thing. I got to be careful of the Gengar Mimikyu. Definitely a threat. Not to be uh, underestimated. Okay. Hit 110. I'm going to go ahead and grab Lucky. Aurora will be doing uh we're doing 150 160 200 so we're an energy away from winning the game and this is the best energy to have on us right now to play around Marnie if we get Marnie if we draw to double suspicious food team we can heal 160 damage uh and this draws us a card guaranteed so it's a pretty good uh set of energy to have here I feel like this is probably the perfect uh set of energy so go with these uh and we're just an energy attachment away from winning the game actually if we just attach here we just i guess if they house us and we top deck a trainer card that would stink if they house us for one top deck a trainer card because we don't want to ko them right now um so that would stink hopefully it doesn't end up going that way uh yeah hopefully it doesn't end up going that way but it could it could not stink uh here comes another fog crystal another energy for my opponent um they could maybe get up to the point if they can bump my path to the peak they could get a calyrex set up and they could hit pretty hard here just comes a shadow mist though so just shadow misting I'm definitely fine with this. Can't attach special energy, but that's not a big deal. Actually, well, no, we're doing... Oh, we're not doing enough, though, right? We're doing 160. We're 10 hit damage short from KOing this. Unless it's 160. Yeah, 150, 160, 200. 200 damage. So if I had taken the other powerful energy that was in the discard pile, we would have KO'd. Um, so my bad on that one, I guess. So we're going to play a Sustin. Uh, heal. Damage. And then just go ahead and swing. Blissful Blast. Or 170. Now we're getting the knockout. Grab this, this, and that last one doesn't matter, so I'm going to grab a weakness card here. Load it up. Full health. We have a lot of cards in our hand, but only three trainer cards. So even if the Gengar Mimikyu comes rolling through, we are all safe. But to my opponent, it looks like it might be a really good time to use a Poltergeist, but uh, they don't know that it's not. <laughs> and we're going to keep it that way, uh, having it not be a good, a good out for my opponent. Yeah, our hand is literally just all energy at this point um another calyrex v coming down actually the other calyrex v here comes a research what do they even need this turn what are they looking for i'm curious they don't have enough energy in play to get a one hit ko we got plenty of healing we got the boss in hand actually so we just win the game next turn we got three six seven um i mean we knock out the active but we got the boss so that's it that's game we're just gonna go ahead and boss up the dragapult take out two of the dragapults close it out path to the peak Pretty clutch in this one, I would say, because uh, they weren't ever able to, I mean, they didn't find a VMAX ever, but uh, I mean, they weren't ever, maybe they had, I guess they never really had access to them either. We'll shut down their Crobat, maybe shut down to Dene potential as well. We're going to go ahead and give it out to Path of the Peak on this one and uh, <laughs> get this double Blissey. All right, here we go again. And we lost the coin flip. So hopefully my opponent feels like going first. I think it's pretty good. They agree. So we're going to hopefully get off a pretty good turn. When we got the Hapu, we got a Lucky Energy Stars. So but the Lucky Energy, I feel like is super a big deal to get off early it feels like it's just like really good and makes a big difference to get it out early um there's a sobble so this makes me a little bit scared i think my opponent is probably playing the oh thank goodness it's inteleon i was like they're probably playing rapid strikes inteleon rapid strike has been a super super popular deck on the ladder and um it's a fine matchup if we can find our weakness guard energies but sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find the weakness guards which is a little bit scary uh, but it looks like we are up against Inteleon, which should be a really good matchup for us, to be honest. Uh, if I had to guess, I guess I don't know for sure, for sure, for sure. But uh, theoretically, pretty good. Um, start with this Hapu. This card, three energy. That's exactly what we want to see. I'll probably take the Guzmahala. 
and i don't think path of the peak is going to be super influential in this matchup it's not gonna be a big deal at all so go with the path of the peak uh i don't need the second path of the peak we could hit for 60 damage actually with the powerful so that's perfect get this early ko uh put some pressure on it take away the option for another an, an inteleon for my opponent that could be you know given a little more aggressive of an option and if they're playing inteleon inteleon that means they're no they don't really have too many aggressive options to be honest um especially on this turn so this might just be a pretty easy dub to be honest uh because it might take them three energy before they can even attack with this inteleon and by that point this blissey is going to be massive uh, and we should just kind of be able to take over the game i would think we'll see and we'll see if they have any other tricks up their sleeve to try and slow us down and whatnot um but i think this one's gonna be a pretty good dub it looks like keep calling is what they're going for here as well which is also a really good side there's a marnie okay so they got a little bit more to work with than just to keep calling which is like i wouldn't want to i mean i want to win but i don't even want the game to be over that fast um but yeah they're lining up and keep calling the draw from us is that's all right nothing to write home about uh exp share so that's how they're keeping the energy in play uh inteleon to inteleon and they're actually going to keep this keep calling energy in play as well level ball coming in i'm assuming that's going to be for a drizzile what else will they get it would have to be a drizzile right yeah it's got to be a drizzile there it is drizzile uh drizzile to the hand and yeah keep calling get some bobbles into play how many is the question two all right so none prized research here would be insane it is insane let's grab the research three more energy to the discard pile i uh, haven't even attached return yet either so we can still attach return um i guess our lucky energy let's full blast i kind of wanted to bench this one but not really so i didn't bench it three energy this blissey is massive double luck energy a double powerful energy got some auroras on here as well for when it uh <clears throat> For when we get some suspicious food tins another powerful off the prize cards yeah this is absolutely absurd how set up we are right now uh <laughs> and we're just gonna get to do it again it looks like next year my opponent kind of not looking like they want to attack with inteleon here um i hope they don't have a way to want to kill my blissey that i'm just kind of not thinking about so we got one two three four five six seven eight uh so we're doing 140 or 240 250 uh 290 so we're almost just one hit KOing this inteleon we just need one more energy here and we are one hit KOing the inteleon um, so I want to start building up this uh, Blissey, I feel like, instead of this one. Start building up this one. We can put an Aurora Energy here. And discard a Weakness. And then we can go Blissful Blast, attach the Weakness Guard Energy here. Uh, and this thing is one at KO in Inteleons. Um, and that feels pretty good. But then they could boss this one up and trap it for a couple turns. And maybe set up some weird shenanigans. Uh, so that's like the only thing I'm scared of is weird shenanigans happening. So the only thing I'd be afraid of. Not super afraid of, but like a little bit slightly terrified slightly scared of but getting this down with a cape also sounds so good like i'm kind of torn here on how i want to play this i guess it'll depend on our top deck as well um uh, but i might just try and leave this in the active but it looks like we're actually getting marnie here so it looks like that won't be uh we won't be able to keep this blissey around here we'll see though we'll see if this gets played or not i assume it is going to get played uh triagonal okay that's interesting escape up now i definitely don't want to bench this thing down knowing my opponent plays triagonal uh I don't even know what to expect anymore now <laughs> what was going on here now i'm scared of getting one hit ko'd by some shenanigans though but what could they possibly play that would one hit ko my blissey uh nothing right there's nothing that would one hit ko my blissey not that i can think of that they could just kind of bring out of nowhere uh and we have 300 hp even if they have tool scrapper it's 250 240 with this 10 damage from the frozen lock i don't think it's happening i could be wrong though that's what i'm scared of i'm scared of being wrong here uh gus mahala Gonna go with hapu i think grab the switch and the research is what i want to grab here i think draw energy maybe we should play the draw energy first though to be actually to actually to be honest blissful blast i really wanted a boss there so i could just win next turn but this is looking good enough 320 last turn so it's gonna be 350 next turn only has 320 hp so <laughs> they can't attack with this thing or they will lose the game we are soloing this inteleon deck with just a single blissey it can get so out of control so fast sometimes and yeah i don't see how my opponent ever handles this blissey and if they can i would really like to know how because then i can prepare for that in future games and maybe even utilize whatever cards they got to deal with this blissey uh in the future myself here comes a research glare mine so playing it's like control inteleon inteleon they got glare mine the cragonal inteleon to find stuff 
yeah control and telling on and telling on i guess what the what my opponent's rocking here but uh not gonna control enough i don't think here and uh we should be walking away with a dub here i right on this next turn as we are hitting for 250 to one two three four five six twelve i mean it's just so many energy it's just so many energy um just to make sure one more and yeah blissful blast goodbye until on v max yeah 280 at the end there 280 at the end i wanted to i didn't want to do the math i know i just saw it on the screen but i forgot what it was get another dub here with the blissey over the intellion yeah intellion can't quite hang not enough damage not fast enough uh pretty easy dub for the blissey and uh yeah let's go do it for blissey guys see you tomorrow